Hello everyone. In this video, I will be briefing you about chapter 12 case problem related to the investment strategy. JD Williams is an organization that wants to evaluate its investment strategy and it want to make some changes to its investment strategy so that it, its investment, its funds are properly utilized to get better yield for the organization. When you read this case study, you will understand that uh, the organization is using different investment models to uh, invest its funds and uh, get a, get better results. And it want to test uh, how sensitive the return value when we make certain changes to interest rate that we pay and uh, the kind of returns that we can get with the expectations. Okay, so um, regular farmer that has to be followed while addressing the case. Uh, providing the case solution. So this is the template that is given to you. Make sure that these questions are changed into proper headings and uh, your, you, you should use your own heading. Alright. So give nice introduction to the case problem. Uh, maybe first uh, speak about linear uh, models, about linear model and how important linear models. It's not linear regression. It is linear model. Okay. So try to uh, read some basic detail from about linear models and how it will be helpful in decision makings. Got it. So then start giving uh, like five to six sentences or a small paragraph on the given case problem. Next, start directly addressing the questions. Make sure you are not supposed to keep questions. The questions should be converted into appropriate simple headings. All right. So the first question is. Uh, when we use when we, after considering uh, the given values, I have solved the problem like um, using the content. So uh, we apply linear model and we try to solve it to find what is the anticipated investment request uh, recommendation based on the annual yield. So now first we have to calculate what is the annual yield and what is the yield percentage when compared to the given investment value. And finally, we should make some recommendation related to that. So basically, uh, using uh, three uh, investment strategies that are applied by the organization, total fund that is invested is $800,000. So when this is invested, based on growth model, uh, income model, and market model, three different models were used to invest a different percentage of amount of 8000 into the market. When these three models are combinedly implemented by the organization properly, what kind of field it is going to get. So using Excel sheet, I solved it and I try to get some solution related to that. So when we perform linear regression model, it was identified that total yield on $8,000 that was invested, total yield that we achieve is $941,94,133, which is the yield achieved for total year. So when we compare it with the actual investment means when we divide the received value on the investment value, it was observed that total percentage of yield means returns total value that that was created by the organization in an year is it is 11.77%. This is a good value. So what kind of recommendation we can make? So the investment model is generating a proper like a, like a better value for the organization something that is positive when you consider yield value something that is positive that is greater than zero is a good value when the value is more than 10 percent usually when you invest some money into the market if you invest in a regular bank account you will get four percent return when you invest in mutual funds or something you might get approximately eight percent so when compared to regular uh, returns that we receive from uh, other type of investments the yield that is achieved is very good 11.77 percent yield is excellent yield so what i want you to do is you just make sure that you change you make some changes to these values and you can use this calculation so this calculation the screenshot in your solution just give the calculation was performed like this then you you try to explain your recommendation based on the value that is received okay so in the next question so for this is for the first question so in the next question what it was mentioned is initially it is 0 0.05 is the interest rate okay now if it is increased by 0 0.055 interest rate what could be the uh, outcome annual uh, annual yield outcome and what kind of recommendation we can make so if you observe that 
when the annual yield is increased so when the interest rate is increased interest that we get is increased the annual yield total yield become 98800 and it is observed to be 12.35 per percent of the actual investment so based on this you can say that when it is compared to the earlier percentage of yield the present percentage of yield is very high so definitely the value when when we increase it it definitely gets better yield for the organization so it is good to increase the rate interest rate on the selected option all right so that can be the interpretation so write a small paragraph uh, explanation related to that that is enough now let us understand the third question in the third question see when the risk index was maintained at 0 0.05 itself then uh, if growth fund like the investment that is made in growth model increase uh, revised from reduced from 16 percent to 14 percent when we keep all other elements like investment model and market model when we keep both of them steady like a constant and if we change if we reduce 16 value of a growth fund from 16 to 14 percent is that an acceptable thing how sensitive it is that should be addressed here so the recommendation change a recommendation should be made on this one so according to this when we observe that uh, when the value is reduced from 15 15 percent to 14 percent what happens at 14 percent that should be observed when we calculated at 14 percent the investment value is reduced from 94 1 to 85 0, 6, 7. that was reduced to 85 0, 6, 7, which is not acceptable at 14 percent it was reduced to very less level very less value so which is not a good to accept so so the target like ultimate outcome is very simple you cannot accept a uh, growth fund to be revised downward because it should be upgraded to ensure that better value is re received by the organization so so you just read the content and try to rewrite it based on your understanding okay so when growth fund is reduced from 16 to 15 percent the annual yield will reduce reduce to some value that is mentioned over there here okay and uh, when the value is further like when it is made to 15 then only if it is not acceptable then you, when you reduce it even less it cannot be not at all possible to accept it okay so uh, you just read the content and try to understand it ultimate thing is it's not a good idea to reduce the value from 16 to 13. so i have given a nicely written answer over here try to understand it and wrote it right in your own words please don't try to paraphrase it okay make sure that you understand you try to read understand and write it for fourth question try to understand the question make sure that a simple nice heading is given and the answer is very simple that is clearly given here so just read understand and rewrite it see uh, for the fourth question uh, like uh, you need to understand that so the question is that when you try to uh, increase like put a lot of amount into only growth fund because they want too much money like the client expressed to have larger amount with them by in investing in growth fund so the simple thing see when you when we are while why we are using gi and m formula gim formula growth investment and market model it is because you want to uh, equally distribute the risk of uh, like whatever the investments you are making okay so when we try to put lot of amount in only one particular fund the risk associated with that fund will definitely reflect on the investment and return values okay so for example there are three different models and each model will have certain risk level so when we take all the three models and invest it invest in it it, there is a possibility that if you make it in investment model there is a possibility of risk will be high and your returns will be high if properly if that is implemented and if everything goes fine the, there is a possibility of getting higher returns okay so maybe like um, market model and uh, growth model they might be having they might be having very less risk rate so because of that they get very less amount of money in return okay so for example if they neglect other areas and if they try to forget only like invest more in investment model what happens maybe the possibility of failures is high in investment models and similarly if they try to focus in growth fund growth fund is also so the fund is also fund is collection of different types of instruments and what happens is if they too much invest in the fund 
So if the fund, uh, like the portfolio, if, if it does not perform well, the possibility of experiencing the risk will be high. So what happens when people invest a lot of money in one particular thing, the possibility of getting, uh, like experiencing larger risk will be high. So the recommendation is that it's not a good idea to uh, invest a lot of money in one particular thing. Uh, it's a good idea to invest in multiple funds. Okay, try to understand the given content and uh, my explanation. So based on that, you rewrite or like you, you try to write your own understanding related to the question. See here, the question is uh, the asset allocation model developed may be useful for portfolio. Like see, usually asset allocation model is simple question you try to understand. So usually asset allocation model will be useful for uh, modifying portfolios and allocating funds to different portfolios it is all good but it is all, always not recommended to use it because it, it depends like the, we need definitely we need a financial uh, analyst advice to invest in different different type of uh, funds and different types of uh, investment models because the market will be very uncertain and risky so it is very important that they take advice of professionals and uh, clients so simply you cannot apply asset allocation model just like that because the money invested might be lost by the people who are investing on it okay so this is a simple explanation try to read the paragraph and uh, write it in your own way like this is my explanation on this so it's good to use it but not always it may not perfectly fit for the uh, market conditions and different types of investments you are making all right so make sure that you properly understand the market portfolio because for that you need some uh, support from the external people, professionals and financial advisories so so that you can get better uh, rest, better uh, answer from them and based on that we can invest. Okay, so this is my answer to that. So write it and um, write based on the complete assessment whatever you have done. You try to give conclusion and recommend the organization to you um, combination of uh, in three different models efficiently so that it get better returns okay and make sure you add one reference on linear models okay maybe any textbook on linear model linear model financial linear model can be used as a response reference okay so give proper reference use APF format cross-check your APF format and forward it to me thank you team all the best